Hello everyone, this is Sadish Kumar Ramalingam. In this video, I'm going to explain how to create a draggable Google Map Marker in Ionic application. We need a Google Map API key for this particular application. If you don't have any API key, please go with Google API console and get a new API key. Create a new Ionic project using the Ionic command line interface. Using the following command to create a new project. First of all, we need to import Google Map JavaScript library into your index.html file. Don't forget to mention your AP key inside of the script section. Next, we are going to configure HTML and CSS files code here. Open your component style file and create a new CSS class property for map element. Then open your component template file and create a new HTML element for a map container. Okay, don't forget to mention the template reference variable. It's very important for us. And below the map element, we are going to uh, display the address details. Now we are going to declare global and class level properties. This is very important to implement Google map in our Ionic application. Next, we are going to implement the map code instead of the ng after view init section. Okay, don't forget to implement ng after view init instead of your component lifecycle. Okay, uh, otherwise this map code is not work for you. Okay, don't try this code instead of your ng on init section. It's not work for you. Instead of the function, I'm going to create the map code here. Okay, this is the code for initialize your Google map instead of your Ionic application. Okay, here I'm. I declare the map element and also the map options. Okay, it's create a new Google map instead of our Ionic application. Next, uh, this one will help to create a marker instead of your Google map. Okay, here I am declare the marker position and also the map. Okay, and the marker is draggable. It is the very important properties. Uh, don't forget to import this one. I want the marker is draggable. Okay. Next, I have created another one event listener for uh, dragger events. Okay, if I'm going to drag the map marker, I just want to uh, listen the event. Okay, I just create this code for that particular purpose. So instead of the marker event, I am calling the geocode position. Okay, it's used to uh, get the particular position address using the geocode service. Okay. It's called uh, another one function. Instead of the function, I am using the geocode service for getting the particular address of the marker location using the marker position. That means latitude and latitude value. Okay. After that, I am getting the formatted address and I also display the formatted address instead of my HTML template. Okay. See here in the address section, this formatted address will be displayed. Next, we are going to see the demo. The source code of this application is available in uh, GitHub. I will give the GitHub URL in the description box. You will check out that one. This application also tested in Google Pixel 3. Okay, it's also tested with the real device.